Hi, Dr. Harrison Vaughn here, physical therapist, talking today about our latest blog on cervical genetic dizziness and uh, application of deep cervical flexor muscles. And um, th these muscles are typically what you'll consider the longus coli, longus capitis. And it's been known for a long time now that uh, these muscles are weaker, don't have as much strength, endurance, or motor control, or potentially inhibited by uh, mechanical neck pain. Um, and several different subgroups, including cervical joint dizziness. And um, uh, for the most part, what we chat about here in this blog post is showing a video and descriptions of when you're retraining somebody for activation of the longus coli, longus capitis in particular, uh, you definitely want them to feel it where they should. And um, this includes not feeling it along the center clitomastoid, anterior scaling, and particularly uh, the suboccipital area, which could be uh, precipitating the, their symptoms and could be one of the reasons why they may be getting some of their symptoms. So I hope you enjoy it and I uh, look forward to you listening and coming back to read more. Thank you.